Hey loves, welcome to our channel. Today, we are going to be looking into the person you are going to marry. So if you want to see who you're gonna marry, what kind of traits they possess, what kind of character they are, you know, what they like, what they don't like, all about that person that you are going to marry, definitely make sure to watch till the very end of this video so you get all of the details. But just to start out, I just wanted to say my name is Megan and I am the lead spiritual advisor for the Relationship Psychics. I am so grateful and so excited to have you here today with me in this pick a card reading on the person you will marry. But before we get started with all of that, I just wanted to say that if you are new and haven't yet subscribed to our channel, definitely, definitely make sure to subscribe. We have a ton of amazing psychic content, free readings, lives, and all of that fun stuff. So just hit that subscribe button and click the notification bell as well so you don't miss when we upload a brand new video. Also, if you could give this video a big thumbs up, it would mean so much to me and would really help our channel continue to grow and reach more people. So it really does go a long way if you can just give this video a quick thumbs up. One last thing is that I would love it if you could comment below which of these piles you chose because that really helps to, you know, set the intention for our community reading here today. Other amazing news is if you are new and haven't yet heard, we just launched our first app ever, Mystica Psychic Readings. So definitely, definitely make sure to download the app today we are giving you guys $5 of free credit to get started. So just use the link down below in order to get that $5 of free credit and start talking to one of our amazing talented psychics on our team. So now that we went through all of that fun stuff, I just want to really decompress and set our intentions for this reading so we are able to be led to the card that we are meant to choose in this moment. So now I just invite you to take a deep inhale through your nose, inhaling positive light vibrational frequencies, and now exhale through your mouth, pushing out all of that negative and toxic energy that has really come on to you throughout the day or week or any of that anxiety, stress, negativity, doubts, any of that. We just want to let that go for this reading and instead be mindful and present in this moment and just be here with me. So just focus on my voice as I will talk about the fact that God, the universe is so loving, so eternal and so unconditional in the love of the divine for us. So. We are just so grateful to be here. We are so grateful to know that there are amazing things coming our way when it comes to love and that the divine has a plan for our life. The divine has made us uniquely and beautifully and we will have amazing things coming if we are able to have that faith, have that openness to receiving such blessings. So now I really want you to just focus on a moment in your life where you felt very loved. Any moment you felt kind of some sort of love, almost divine love as well, if that's possible. So it can be as big of a deal as a celebration, an anniversary, a, you know, birthday, just any little fun thing, graduation, or it can also be little simple moments, you know, sometimes it's the moments in between that have the most impact on our lives. It's not always the vacations and the extravagant trips and celebrations, but sometimes it's like the little things, you know, just like a smile or a laugh or, you know, a shared glance with someone that you care and trust. And just, again, those little tiny moments that define who we are and how we feel that love and light from the universe. So just really try and picture that in your mind, picture that moment, whatever it may be wherever you felt safe and felt love and warmth in your life. And now if you have your eyes closed, as you continue to take those deep breaths, I would like to direct you to these four cards and stickers that I have laid out on the screen in front of me. So I want you to now ask yourself, ask your inner eye and your inner light if any of these symbols, stickers, you know, drawings really call to you. Are any of them speaking to you or any of them just popping out, jumping out? Maybe there's a reason, maybe there's not. Either way, just trust it 
just trust that you will select the card you are meant to receive and trust in the power of your intuition and the spirit to guide you. So we have first here a beautiful starfish. I don't want to say too much because I don't want to cloud anyone's judgment, but I will quickly go over what we have for each of these symbols. So we have a starfish for group one. We have a rainbow for group two. We have a peach for group three, and we have a donut for group four. So those are the four symbols that we are going to pick from today for our amazing card reading. So again, I just wanted to say I'm so blessed to be here with you guys. So excited to start this today. And we do have the timestamps located down in the description box below so you can jump to your particular reading on your spouse. Also, you can watch all four of them and see which parts of the readings resonate with you. That's another option too. It's your reading, so it's whatever you feel called to do. And that is exactly what you've always been meant to do. So just so excited to get started on the person that you will marry. All right, so here we go, guys. All right, so for all my friends who chose the starfish symbol, this is your reading today on the person you will marry. So already I want to say something very important about what I'm sensing about your future spouse. I'm already sensing just as the starfish indicates and symbolizes a water sign. I really feel very drawn to a water sign for you. So we're just gonna write this right here as we go because it is very important. And as it's coming to me, I want to make sure we are taking notes. So water sign is definitely something to look out for. Another thing that I'm also getting right now is definitely more of a free flowing personality. So, you know, free flowing just as the starfish is also a free flowing creature of the ocean, kind of that free flowing, you know, almost adventurous as well. Like doesn't want to be stuck in one place is what I'm really getting. Um, okay, so let's just keep going here. So, you know, our starfish group, let's look at what our first card says and see what else we can learn here. So our first card says wild animals. Okay, so that is incredibly on point with what we were already saying. The starfish is a wild animal. The starfish doesn't really, it's kind of, you know, not always abiding by the rules. So I do want to say, you know, um, follows own steps in life. Own steps, um, a little bit of a rule breaker, we'll say. And another thing that I'm really getting here too is kind of unconventional. I'm getting unconventional. Definitely not someone who really goes by the rules or goes by what society wants of them. They definitely are imaginative as well, I just got as we are as we are talking here. So imaginative. So yeah, I'm gonna just continue to write some of these aspects that I'm getting as we continue to pull some cards and just kind of allow the reading to take place that way. So next I'm actually going to pull from this deck here and I'm gonna shuffle here for us, see what else we can really get here, so. I feel like this is the card. Interesting, so this card actually says perseverance. And another thing I really wanted to point out to you guys too is let's take a look at the significance of the numbers. So we have 36 and we have 12 already are important numbers. Okay. So these could be birthdays. These could be anniversaries. These could be ages. I mean, 12, probably not, but you know, these could be ages. These could be anything of significance in our lives. So just keep all this in mind too, as we continue to go. But as far as perseverance goes, they're definitely someone who is, you know, on a mission to explore. Like they definitely are, you know, they have a perseverance about them. So we're gonna write that down. And we're just gonna keep keep this going. This is really very a fun reading. So I'm actually feeling drawn again to pull from this deck so we can see a little bit more about this about this person. Oh, okay, so interesting. So is the card that kind of pulled out at us and 31 is our next number here so 
So 31, so we are going to also put 31 here. And we have trust. So they're also someone who is trusting and restorative in a way. I feel like they have healing energy, I'd like to point out. That's what I'm just getting as I'm talking. So there's someone who's kind of, you can trust with, you know, when you talk to them, they feel like someone who almost has that peaceful energy. I'm feeling peaceful energy. So soothing, soothing is another thing that's coming. Just as the water is soothing, restorative. That's really what I'm getting here is this peaceful, soothing, trusting energy. So we're gonna write trusting as well. Beautiful, beautiful. And now I'm actually gonna shuffle from this deck here, see what else we can get. So this is our, this is actually our, one of our sea mermaid decks I have, so. Ooh, okay, this is definitely in the card. Wow, wow guys, okay, so if you can see what I just shuffled on camera here is Voyage, which says set sail on a new course. So this person is all about the adventurous side of things, right? That's just even more apparent from that card. They're definitely someone who wants to see the world. I'm gonna say traveling. They like to travel. They like to explore, travel, explore. They like to see different like people, different points of view, different cultures. They're not someone who likes to stand still. So, you know, they're not someone who likes to be at home too much or just likes to kind of be kind of in the role that they're supposed to be. They're more unconventional. They're more, you know, pressing. They're more, you know, liberal in certain aspects as well, like kind of able to see outside the box. They're able to question authority. They're able to explore and discover and find, you know, new beautiful adventures in life. So that's really what I'm getting about the person you will marry. I hope that, you know, this reading did help you and give you some clarity. It's definitely a fun, interesting one that we did today. So Again, if you did like this reading, it would mean so much to me if you could just subscribe to our channel if you haven't already and just give this video a big thumbs up, which helps our channel continue to grow. So we really, really appreciate it more than anything. Also, if you do want to check out another video next, I will have one linked in the top of the screen here, but you know, that is it for today's reading on who you will marry. And I can't wait to see you guys next time. Bye guys. All right, so for all my friends who chose the rainbow symbol, this is going to be your reading today on who you will marry. So already the first thing that's coming to me, and as we continue to do this reading, I will write down some of the character traits that your future spouse and the person you will marry will possess. So the first thing that really comes to me when I look at the rainbow is hope. Hope is definitely a very big aspect of this person's personality. So we will just write that right here. Another thing I would like to point out of this person is I do believe that they are very optimistic. They kind of see the best in people and situations and they're more of a glass half full kind of person. Another quick thing I do feel is they're very loving and accepting. So we will write loving and accepting. That's also very big aspects of their personality. I'm getting a very loving personality already is what I am receiving. So now we will rainbow group look at our first card. So. Our first card here says trust in number six. So we will write down six for any significance. This could be birthdays, anniversaries, anything, you know, that can really indicate a lot, you know, so just definitely keep this number in mind. Trust is big too. So this person's trusting, right? As we are optimistic, we are also trusting. We're hopeful, right? That all encourages trust. And I also feel they're very faithful. That's another thing I just really got. They trust, they believe in people, they are, you know, they're a little bit, I would say like naive, but it's not a bad thing. And they're also very trusting. Oh, we already wrote trust, <laughs> but yeah, they're also very, um, you know, they're very faithful. That's what I was going to write. Faithful as well. And they have that strong sense of faith and belief in people and God and the universe. They have such a strong, you know, passion about them and what they believe the world is and what they believe in. They really, you know, have that trust and faith in people and themselves in the world. So that's already really what I'm getting here, which is very beautiful. And now I would love to just pull another card for us. So I'm going to shuffle from this deck here and we're going to see what else we can learn about your future spouse and the person you'll marry. Ooh, okay, so let's see. I feel like this is the card just because it kind of popped out at me as these cards kind of fell out of place. So this card is 13. So we're going to write 13 here. And you know, this card is the moon. So the moon's also significant. I would like to point out as well as transition. So what I feel like this could mean here is that 
they have had to go through a transition in their life. They've had to go through change. So there has been some change that has had to occur within them in order for them to really reach their full potential. So they have had to almost have that butterfly kind of feeling of overcoming a very hard obstacle in their life. That's really what I'm getting. So they have overcome obstacles and you know how they overcame those obstacles was through that beautiful, beautiful hope trust and faith that this person possesses so they really are able to overcome anything and that's why they also believe other people can overcome things that's why they trust in other people that's why they're optimistic in other people and have that faith it's because they themselves have encountered serious tribulations and trials in their life and they have come out the other side stronger so that's kind of already what i'm getting here now next we are going to just shuffle this deck once more i'd like to shuffle this and see if we can get another another little bit of a reading here on this person that you are going to marry so So this is definitely the card here. Boundaries, 21. Okay, so we're going to write down 21 is another significant number for us. We have, okay, and we have boundaries. So what I feel like this means is they do lack boundaries, okay? And, you know, that's okay. That's something to work on. But they definitely, it's because they're so optimistic, loving. They're so, you know, believing in people that sometimes they can be a little naive and they can sometimes lack boundaries because they want to help people. They're very empathetic is another thing that just came to my mind as we're, as we're doing this reading. So empathetic, very empathetic, almost like an empath, empathetic, um, empath, I'm going to write here. And they're very emotional. And emotional is a beautiful thing. It's not a bad thing. So I just want, um, they have a big heart. That's another thing that just came, you know, as we're speaking here. So big heart, definitely loving, definitely believing the best in people. Okay. So now we're just going to pull one more card. This is such a fun reading. So let's see. We're just going to use our mermaid deck here. Pull one more. Ooh, that's okay. That's the card. Um, turbulence, turbulence. Okay. That completely lines up with what we were talking about when it comes to the obstacles they had to overcome right just as we wrote here overcome obstacles that was the turbulence in their life they went through rough waters and they've come out the other side so that's why they have this belief in other people that's why they are just so loving and accepting and non-judgmental non-judgmental also just came to my mind non-judgmental so that's why they have all those like things about them and that's why they're so hopeful and that's why they believe you know very strongly in themselves and they believe in the future and they believe in God and they believe in the universe and they have all this faith because they have overcome something serious. So anyways, that is it for today's reading. If you guys did enjoy, please comment below, give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. It really would mean so much to me just to continue to grow this channel and reach more people. So I love you guys so, so much. And I'm going to link another video too, if you want to check this one out next at the top of the screen, but that is it for today's reading on who you will marry. And I'm sending all my love and light to you guys until next time. Bye guys. All right. So for all my friends who chose the peach, so our peach group, this is going to be your reading on who you will marry. So already what I'm feeling here is that you are a very cute personality. Like you, you like, um, God, I'm getting more so your energy versus theirs. And I feel like this person is going to almost have very like, almost like confident energy or masculine energy or kind of ambitious energy. That's already what I'm getting. It's going to kind of balance you out. So I feel like this person is going to balance you out or be like your better half. That's what I'm already going to write out. Balance out. Opposites attract. I'm going to write opposites attract. So, and I, yeah, I feel like you probably will. I feel like very strongly it's going to be like a soulmate connection as well. Soulmate, twin flame. That's another aspect I'm getting. Okay, so let's look, Peachies, Peach group, what we have here. So um, we have one, okay, one beautiful number and confidence. Okay, yes. Yes, that makes a lot of sense. So I feel like you are just like a cutie kind of, and and they kind of are going to balance that out in a lot of ways. They're they're very confident. They're very ambitious. So I'm going to write that down here. Confident. 
ambitious. And with one, I want you to kind of, it makes sense because they like to be first. They're very competitive too is what I'm getting. They're competitive. And for this number one, two, just kind of take this um, into account when it comes to either birthdays, anniversaries, anything like that, where one is present in their life. So just be aware of that. So confident, ambitious, competitive. They like to be first. They like to be number one. So that makes sense. They're definitely goal oriented. And they're also strategic is what also is coming to my mind here. Strategic. So they have all of those characteristics. I feel like they're very passionate as well. A lot of things are coming already here. So for you guys, okay, passionate too. Okay, great. So, and romantic, that's another thing. I wanna write, okay, as these things come, I just gotta write them for you. So they're also romantic. So that's kind of what I'm getting so far, but let's draw another card here from the stack here and shuffle this and see what else we can learn about the person you will marry. So. Ooh. So what do we have? We have perspective, we have 22 and we have perspective. So interesting. So let's write down 22 here and we will also make sure to write down perspective. So what I feel like how this really relates here is that, um, oops, why did I, oh yeah. Oh my gosh. I totally spelled that wrong. It's okay. <laughs> we all make mistakes. Um, so basically how I feel like perspective really relates to our reading right now is that they will give you a different perspective because again, they're going to be balancing you out. So when you, you know, you're maybe thinking one th way or only seeing one side of a situation, they're going to give you that like almost complimentary energy. So, you know, energy that complements is also what I'm going to say because they're going to be able to open up your mind here. Energy that complements because they really do have like the perfect balance to you. So that's kind of what I'm already getting. And then let's just shuffle this deck once more and see what else we can learn about the person you're marrying. Ooh, this card kind of like came out at me. Let's see. 33, 33. We're getting a lot of like doubles, like one, which is one, one, two, 22, 33. That's very powerful. Um, okay, and it's also an order too, so that's extra powerful. Um, then we have healing. Okay, we have healing. So they definitely, will, you know, I'm feeling here there's going to be healing somehow involved in their life. Maybe it's them who had to heal. Maybe it's you who had to heal or they help you to heal in a certain way, but there's going to be some dynamic of healing and growth together. So you guys are going to kind of grow together. Like I'm feeling like, you know, the growth will just kind of occur on this twin flame, beautiful soulmate journey with this person. That's what I'm getting. So I'm just going to kind of just show you guys what I'm getting here. Um, so yeah, so I'm already getting all this and then I'm going to just draw one more card for us today on the person you'll marry. So let's see. I feel like this is the card direction. That makes so much sense. Okay. It says trust your inner compass and find your bearings. They have a big sense of direction, right? Just as we said, they're goal oriented, strategic, passionate, romantic. They have perspective. They have direction. Also, they're kind of rational is another thing that just came to my mind. They're kind of more rational and they're very, they're very, oh, they're very smart too. <laughs> um, incredibly smart. And, um, oh, I wrote direction. I meant to write rational, but you know, rational. Um, and yeah, they have really strong objectives in life and they have big dreams and ambitions and they're definitely able to do so. They're successful as well is another thing they're go or, you know, they will be successful. So anyway, you know, that is what I'm really sensing for the person you will marry. I hope you guys did enjoy this reading. And if you haven't yet subscribed to our channel, please, please, please subscribe. We want to continue to grow and have more people join our amazing family here on YouTube. So it would mean a lot to me. Also, if you could just give this video a big thumbs up again, just click it really quickly. It really does help our channel. So I really do appreciate it so, so much. Okay, so that is it for today's reading. I will have another one linked at the top of the screen here, but you know, we are done with our Who You Will Marry reading and I am just so grateful that you joined me here today. So sending all my love and light to you guys till next time. Bye guys. All right, so for all of my friends who picked the donut symbol, so I am really excited for you guys. I already have a few things that are coming to my intuition. So I'm going to write down the things that come on the person you will marry as we go. So what already came to me here is this person, they love food. 
<laughs> which is kind of a funny one, but I just really do feel like they love food. They have a sweet tooth too. So we're gonna write that down, sweet tooth. Another thing I'm sensing with this person is definitely that they are into comfort. They're, they're very into being comfortable um, as well as they're kind of more of a homebody, okay? So I'm gonna write those together because those are kind of go hand in hand. They like pajamas, they like being comfortable, they like feeling good. They're very, you know, they're very into that sort of the aspect of things. So it's already what I'm getting here. So let's look at our first card and see what it has to say. So it says feelings and sensations. That makes total sense to me. So this person is someone who likes to feel good. And we also have number four, which could be significant in the number of, you know, it could be a birthday, it could be an anniversary, a year, anything like that. So just be on the lookout for number four. And then they're definitely someone who is very big into, you know, feelings. They're definitely into feelings. They're into sensations. They're definitely a touchy person. They're touchy. They like to be touched. They like to feel, they like to feel good. You know, they definitely are very driven by those things and they're driven by, you know, feeling, feeling good, you know, sensations, all that stuff. They're also a little bit, you know, of a sexual person I'm getting as well. So it's another quick thing to just kind of be aware of here. So let's just continue on with this. This is exciting. So I'm just going to draw some more cards and see what else we are getting about this person. So I'm just going to draw from this deck here quickly. So who you will marry? Who you will marry? Woo! Okay, we have this one just hopped out at us. 24 is our next. So four is a big number for you guys. Okay, 24. Then we have Mars, masculine energy there. Okay, so they have some anger. They have some anger. Um, they have some issues dealing with anger. <laughs> They're not always angry maybe, but there is some anger issues going on, okay? Just to be honest. And there is some control um, aspects as well. Momentum. Momentum makes a lot of sense because, you know, they like, they like going and feeling good and everything like that. They're very impulsive as well. Impulsive just came to my mind. So they're impulsive. They like to feel good. They kind of make rational or irrational decisions. Um, these aren't bad things though. This is just what's coming to me. You know, that can be, there can be great aspects of this as well, but they also are definitely someone who likes to be in control. So let's draw another card and kind of continue on with this. So I'm excited. Let's see what else we're getting here. Who you will marry? Who you will marry? Ooh, this one just kind of popped out. Okay, again. Okay, direction. 20. That makes sense. All right, so 20 is another big one. So 20, and we have direction. So yeah, of course that makes sense because they like are very like they have a lot of masculine energy even if they're a female they're very driven you know driven is definitely a good way to put this driven they have you know they definitely have goals they're definitely have a masculine energy even if they're female that's not both males and females have masculine energy so i just want you to know that they're like they're able to take charge they're kind of dominant in a lot of ways too that's what i'm getting even though they do have, you know, they like to feel good, but they're also still dominant. It's like another aspect of their personality. And then next, what we're going to do is we're going to shuffle from my mermaid deck here and see what else we can learn about the person you'll marry. So let's see, Ooh, I feel like this is the card patience. Interesting. So this is weird because I feel very strongly. This card is not about them. <laughs> it's not about them. It's more so about you and it's about them coming to you. It's, I'm getting two things actually here and that happens sometimes in these group readings. So what I'm getting here is that you either will need to be patient with them and kind of talk them down because they do have an ability or kind of a tendency to kind of, you know, get angry sometimes and act based on how they feel, act irrationally, um, act impulsively. So you might need to be the one who kind of levels them out in a lot of ways. Another thing I'm getting here is being patient about when they come into your life. There's so many good things about them and I feel like this reading kind of more so emphasized some of the things they struggle with, but this isn't a bad thing. This is a very good thing. Um, there's a lot of amazing things about them as well, but just again, just know that they will come at the right time and in divine timing. So. Anyways, that is it for today's reading on the person you will marry. I hope you guys did enjoy it. And if you did, please, please, please give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to our channel if you haven't yet already. Also, if you want, I have another pick a card reading that I will link at the top of the screen here that you can check out next. Anyways, that is it for today. I love you guys all so, so much. And I'm so blessed to be here and can't wait to see you guys until next time.
Bye, guys.